Hello, hello, it's Josh from Panning by Josh. And we've done a couple of different um, videos on doing the garage doors. But this one's particularly a bit different just because the ripples in this one, it's a lot different to not just the normal beveled uh, garage door. As you can see, we've got the real tight different edges and we've got it's completely corroded out over time. You know, this is probably, a, it's never been touched since it was put up, you know, at least 20, 30, 40 years ago. So, as you can see, it's all completely rusted out. The only way, you know, Merca's definitely not going to help us on this one. So, I was going to, I was thinking to myself, what would be the easiest, most efficient way to go through and sand every one, because you have to get in between all these. As you can see, hand sandpaper going to take forever, so we don't want to go doing that. Um, oh, I've done. We got the the wire wheel that connects straight to your drill. So I think I've only you know, I've done most of this section and across this here. Uh, I've got this bottom section and just up here, but I think I've been going for about you know 40 minutes and. I'm probably halfway through. But after that, I'm going to get out the merker and give all the flat sections of sand, and then we'll go on and put some put some Dulux Max Max Adhesion Primer, and we'll put a couple of top coats of the Dulux Weather Shield. This is going the Color Bomb Monument. Also, I'll just give you a bit of a rundown and show you exactly what it's like. You can see, it does quite well so you can see that that's got that edge and then we just and that's taken off see that's brought it back to absolutely beautiful there I'm gonna sand all this with the Merkar quickly just run over it but as you can see the big difference between uh, like that. So we're just going to quickly go through. I'll show you. So that's pretty much what we're going to do, the whole garage door, and then we'll just go through with the merker and just sand the flat sections, and we'll give it all a good dust down and get start to tape it up and get ready for paint. But I want to tape up the inside also, put like a Dulux uh, 2.7 plastic drop just to protect the inside because we've got all these little holes here, so we don't want any overspray going inside the garage. So I'm going to get that all sorted. Also, good thing to have our mask on too, especially in these times of uh, crisis and the corona and everything like that. But even just to protect our health from all the dust and everything, the metal dust and rust. Just going through and I've seen it all the grooves with the wire disc set up onto the electric drill. Now what I'm doing, I'm gonna go through with the dustless sanding machine, the Merca, and I've got the 10 millimeter interface pad on there so it's a sponge. Okay, and what we can do, we can sand. As you can see, when you push it in, how it molds pretty much to that beveled edge. So what we can do now, 
after I've obviously gone through all the root sections. section there to this section here the big difference between them both so like I said with the inner face pad that we've got on the end when we push it onto the wall or onto any surface that's you know obviously not straight we can the pad will actually mold around the surface so that definitely makes it a lot easier uh, and you know with the 150 backing pad on there as well and the inner face running the 120 profile Abranat uh, we're gonna have this sanded in 20 minutes I think 20, th 20 minutes max so we're gonna get it all sanded down anyway then we're gonna set up the we're gonna get everything taped up and then we'll go through and spray up first coat of the Dulux uh, Max Adhesion Just going through now with the LP415. I've got the clean shot on 50 centimeter extension wand, and I'm running the OG Graco. There you go, so that's just the first coat, peeps. Um, I can see I've done it with the Dulux Max Adhesion. It's just a mist coat. You know, any primer, sealer, undercoat's always better just to give it a, uh, just a mist coat. And then that way it's gonna be dry pretty much straight away and we're ready to go straight back over it, so. Going through and we're spraying out this with the Dulux Weather Shield Monument, color monument. Just sprayed out a second coat. You can see she's all completely dry now, but inside and outside, top, bottom lips, completely all done. So the process was gave it all a good sand, uh, a good wire wheel, sand between all these, or scrape between all these edges, and then we gave it all a good dust down. And then I went through with the Dulux Metal Shield Bright Zinc Primer and I sprayed out any of the rusted corrosion areas and then waited for that to dry and then got out the Dulux Max Adhesion Primer and I just sprayed a mist coat over the whole door waited for that to dry and then I played, applied two coats of the Dulux Weather Shield Colour Bomb Monument Maxi Flex 
uh, in the semi gloss. So I'm just gonna just wait for this to dry now, and then what we'll do, we'll demask it, and um, we'll we'll start getting all the gun and everything packed up. But that's pretty much it. I just sprayed first coat with the LP415. I have the 50 centimeter extension on with the Graco Clean Shot to minimise any spitting or anything like that. And then I flipped it over for my top coats into the FFLP312 just to get that nice finer finish. Well, that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in and watching. And I hope you've found this video useful. I know I have done a couple of different garage doors. Uh, this one is completely different with the way I did prep it. Uh, so thank you for all watching. Peace.